Hey y'all, today I'm gonna be teaching y'all how I got this lace for hairstyle. So keep watching. What's up y'all? Today we are gonna be doing a video on how to do a lace on on d.her77.com. They sent me this how to do a review on. This is the bag it came in. And this is the contact information. They gave me a card with all the contact information. And they got a coupon code on there, if y'all can see, for y'all can go get y'all some heart and get a, a discount on it. Got some eyelashes. I don't really like these eyelashes. And I'm not trying to run no eyelashes because I'm trying to grow my eyelashes back. So, yeah. The heart is really wavy and cute, as y'all can see. Yep. You got a lace. They got a lace. You got two. I got a clamp on the back, and it got three clamps at the top, so it can um attach to your heart, your braids or your hair. You got two elastic bands to tighten it up if it, your cap is too small. The hair was already plucked, and it had edges for me to use. So yeah. So this is the bag that the heart came in. So y'all, y'all want some of this heart? This is gonna be the bag that y'all heart come in. So let's get started. First, what we gonna do is use some concealer because I'm using. The only reason I'm using concealer for this is because the cap is not the color of my skin. So you can go get a cap that's the color of your skin, and you don't have to use concealer. Another thing, when you're using the concealer, put the concealer where your part gonna be at on your lace front. So when you part it, it look like your scalp right there. So yeah, that's all I had to say. I had to tell y'all that for y'all get to put in the concealer wherever y'all want to. Second step, make sure you got your your lace where you want it, and make sure where you part it. Is like you can see the brown. See, I couldn't see the brown right there. That was the only reason because I had it parted on the wrong side. So yeah, just make sure you got your lace where you want it. Got the brown concealer where you want it. So yeah. Third step. Third step. Third step. Now what we're gonna do is put the got to be glue on them. Where our edges at? For it can be dry. Covering the cap can be covering our edges when we cut it, so we're just putting the glue by our edges on our edges. To be. So now we get the got to be glue spray, free spray, and we just spray that on the top of the got to be glue for it can dry faster. And that's what I use it for, for it can dry faster. And now we just get the blow dryer and dry it. Now I'm just adding another layer of got to be glue on my edges so my edges can be like, the cap can be really stuck to my edges and add another layer of got to be glue for a spray on my edges too. Four step, four step, four step. Now we just cut the lace, like cut it to our edges, then cut all the rest of it off. Fifth step, we just grabbing this sponge thingy, I don't know what it's called, and you just 
making the words light it at the top and you just make it brown. Six step. Now I'm just getting the lace, see if I got it where I want it. Ain't nothing showing that I don't want that I don't want showing. We don't want the lace, the cap showing. So I'm just combing it back, see if I got it how I want it. And it looks like I got it how I want it. So this is the seventh step. Okay. Now what I'm doing is I'm just cutting it close to my the edges of my hair. That's what I'm doing, cutting it close to the edges of my hair. So when no lace be showing when I glue this lace down on my head. So now we're gonna get this the guy to be glue and we're just gonna put it on our head. Yes, you put the guy to be glue on your head. And you just put it right there, then you get some got to be glue first spray, and you just put it on the top of the got to be glue. But I tell y'all it make y'all it make the glue dry fast. So y'all already know what was next. Gotta blow dry that a little bit till it gets sticky, real, real sticky. So like when you put the lace on there, it can stick. So now we just getting the lace, putting it on the glue, make sure it's flat. Make sure it's not like, you see where it's lifting up. Make sure all that's flat on the glue so when it dry, all, everything can look nice and natural. Now we use the got to be glue for a spray. I'm just spraying it on my hand and I'm just laying it right there with my part at. So you can see my part a little bit better. Add a little heat to it. Make sure it's flat down. You can use a hot comb, but I ain't got no hot comb right now. I'm just like getting started with all this beauty stuff, so yeah. So now we're making us some baby edges. Don't get a lot of baby edges, cause like when I first started doing lace fronts, I used to get a lot of baby edges out. Don't do that, do not do that. I'm telling you right now, people will say something about you and people will talk about you on YouTube because they some hang A B words.
for my beginners, cut y'all baby edges, y'all. Because, like, if y'all keep y'all baby edges long, they're going to be poking up when you do it. So, yeah. And um, ta-da, I did my edges. I couldn't do it in the phone, so I closed the mirror. And I did it in the mirror. Yeah, I look like a fine a girl today. This one not today, but yeah. Thanks for watching my video, y'all. I will be doing another video. Um, in a minute, I gotta start doing my days and when I'm gonna do my video. But thank you and thanks for watching.